Hey y'all, this is The Butcher, and I've had a few people asking me how to add fonts to the Aeon Knox skin. So I'm going to kind of go through and uh, show you how that I did this and be able to get it in the, um, to get it to show. Because you can go in and add fonts. You can put them, um, you can put them inside the fonts folder, and you can even edit the uh, fonts XML. But if you edit that font XML, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily get um, it added in here. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do that, where I've added these two in here, um, and it did the, I did the full set. All right, so um, we're going to go through and start off. I'm going to try to go through as quickly as I can, um, but try to explain it. So you got a few steps here. So one of the steps you're going to need to do is to download whatever font that you're wanting to download. Um, you can get that in all the different places. So I'm not going to show you how to get that. You can just find it at a bunch of free font uh, locations. And you want to get the one font that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and put Monterey. Uh, I'm going to, we're going to add that in here. So I'm using Monterey and it's actually, it was bold. And it was actually had a longer name than that. But I went ahead and just renamed it to make it simple. Uh, to make it easy for me to make edits and changes so just Monterey I added it in there so that went into my fonts folder all right and then the next thing we want to do is that's added in there so and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whoops I'm gonna right click this and I'm just gonna rename but I'm gonna copy I'm gonna copy the name so we have the exact correct spelling for that okay so we're gonna back out and we need to go into the fonts XML, um, and that's in in this skin. It's it's in here, and these are in alphabetical order. If we get F, and before you go doing any changes, I always I this here copy. This is actually the original, so um, we'll go into the XML here. And if you've looked in the Aeon Knox skin and stuff, you'll see that there is a name here, like this is default. And this ID loc, this ID loc is actually, I'll show you where to add that so that you're actually able to um, get it to be seen by the Aeon Knox appearance skin. Because um, if you, I could use the same number for a different skin and it would actually give me two defaults on that on that uh, appearance inside settings so what I did on on mine is like say if I want to add something real I'm gonna add all this so uh, you can see here's another one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy right here let's see let's copy here I'm going to copy the arrow here. Go all the way down to the end. Oops, keep going, keep going. Now I can make small changes, but I'm going to go ahead and. All right, there. So I'm going to copy this. So I'm getting all of the fonts in all of the, the, the layout exactly the way it was for this for that um, for that size I have the exact same one so there's my heroes one of the things I always look for is I want to place this right after font set if you see the font set I want to I want to place what I copy right after that let's go down here you see font set right here so I'm gonna go a space down and I'm gonna click it right here so that I'm because so that the uh, formats are the exact same way and as if you it's placed it all in there let's go up now you see arrow is actually down here also you see it's in line 1138 it's in here so what I'm gonna do is just gonna go ahead and we're gonna name this Monterey. I spell that right. Let's go. Let's go in here. Probably spelled it wrong. I know I did. So 
So I get the exact name, copy. Oops. Place this exactly like that. Paste, it's in there. Okay, so in right now, Errol has two of this same number. Cause that number, that 391 is there. If we go up, So it was 391, it was the last three digits. See, so it's 391, so we got the exact same copy. So what we need to do is I had found where we need to change it. We need to go into the language folder. I'm using English. So I go into here, and inside here is the strings uh, .po. This is the original one. I went ahead and made a copy so that I always have the original in case something should happen. All right, sorry, I had to back out for a second so what we're going to do is go back into that um, into that English and we're going to open it now I like to open it with notepad plus plus you can use some uh, it's a dot po file but open it with this and if we go down you'll see the numbers here we want to go down to 391 Went too far okay Here's skin default, here's the other skins. So what I did, is I did this, copy, again, so I'm just getting the exact same format that it had already. And I mean, you could type it in yourself, but I just tried to make sure that, I, that it's exactly the, the, the right way. It's the exact same way. So all right, let's see. E R E Y. All right, so we got that. Now we have the same number here, so we're gonna need to add one more digit to that number because that number is going to be the number that corresponds with with this name because we're having to put a new uh, ID in there so we got that all right that's set looks exactly the same as the other ones I'm gonna go up here and save it now what we'll do is go into not the fonts we need to go into let's back up oh I got it in my notepad hold on there's no pad art. So here was the font XML right here. So we're wanting it to be 395. And what we were down at 395. So that number goes to 95. All right. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, replace inside this set of um, fonts that are under this category under this font set we want it to set to this Monterey so I'm gonna again copy this copy it and then we're gonna go up here and do search find we use find and we're gonna do the uh, search and replace now we're wanting to replace the words Arial in this section so we're going to do A-R-I-A-L, and we're going to be replacing it with a Montreal. All right, so we're replacing our Monterey. Okay, so we'll tell it, we're going to tell it to find the next one. So it's going to go down the list. You could do replace all if we were wanting to do that, but it's, that would replace everything in this whole thing. So we want to make sure we're putting it in the right spots. So I'm going to tell it to go find the next one. See how it found it? It's, it's highlighted. So I'm going to tell it to replace it. As you see, it replaced the TTF. Now it's down. Now we're going to go. It's it's moved to this, uh, this next one. As you can see how it's kind of highlighted more. We're going to replace it. We're going to replace it. Replace, 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 replace. We're going to want to replace this for this section, for this font set, not for all of the font sets, because we still want to keep um, 
we want to keep that arrow as another option for our users. Okay, now you see we jumped up. Look, at we're back up at line 14. That's why you're wanting to do it just one at a time. Uh, so I'm going to stop where we're at. So we reached the end of the document. I'm going to stop that. Let's save it. And then let's go back into Cody. Look at there. Once I changed it, it reread it. There we go. Let's back out. It's changed the fonts with that that new font set. See how it's it's got a different look to it? And it's added it in here. Because we added in the strings.po file, we added a new number and it had to correspond. If we would not have added that number, this you could have went through and done all the other steps, not edited the strings.po file, you'd have a blank right here. If you used any number that was not part of that strings file if you don't if it's if that number is not in there it would be just a blank spot right here so now we have five fonts to pick from um, to jump we could jump back and forth and this changes the fonts for for that whole section I could have went and just changed it for certain parts of the skin but I kind of do it so that it's one fluid look to the whole to the whole skin or to the whole build it's changed it so I'll do a quick recap. You want to make sure to add the font into your fonts folder. So you want to add the font that you want. You want to edit the font XML file. And you can edit it different ways. You, you could have just replaced, uh, we could have replaced the default or whatever, but I showed you how to add a whole new one. So we had, we didn't lose any fonts. We actually just added a font. So we added it. You want to make sure to go to the strings PO file which is in the language and under whatever language your skin is or yeah whatever whatever uh, language you're using your skin you need to add a new number in here so that you have a new ID loc uh, number so you'll add a new one making sure that this number does not conflict with other numbers if you're using other skins these numbers may be different so we made sure that we added them in all those places and again you can see here's your loc number it matches the default see that right there is this, this is the 390 oops fonts see that's 390 31 390 uh, you see it's the same thing so that's a way to add fonts to your uh, build under the Ann Knox skin um, and like I said I had a very difficult time finding anybody that understood how to add it in there and actually have the name show up in here because you could add fonts but you you had an issue it had the skin had an issue of being able to for your user to see it so uh, I hope that was I was able to explain it clear enough for you um, and uh, go ahead and if you have any questions you can uh, message me on, on uh, my YouTube page or you can uh, come to uh, uh, my group on Facebook and uh, again I'll try to help in uh, if there's anything else I can do, let me know. Thanks.